Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to create an animated Black Friday flyer so you can attract more customers and also make more sales. And what we are going to do is we are going to create two versions of the same design. The first one would be the normal Instagram feed post and the other one would also be for Instagram reels and we'll slap some nice sound effect to make it more enticing. So subscribe to this channel if you haven't and let's dive straight into the tutorial. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to do is to come into Create Design and I'm going to be looking for the Instagram post, the square 1080 by 1080. Okay, so click on it and make sure it's loaded. Now, after you have everything loaded, the first thing you want to do is to come into Element and search for brick wall. Okay, so brick wall and smash on your enter. You should get a lot of options in here. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. This looks more dramatic. Okay, so before I even apply this and make it my background, I'll want to change the background color to black okay then you can see this is already looking interesting but right click and replace the background then what you need to do is to click on it come to transparency and reduce the transparency a little bit to someone like 55 like mine the next thing we are going to do is to press r on our keyboard for a shape okay and make sure it's covering everywhere so this is what we are going to do so make sure you're clicking on the shape come to color okay click on the color again you should see gradient click on that okay now in the gradient there's one we have the radial or circular gradient so make sure you have that selected this is what we are going to do now the second color should be black so you can use this to pick on the first color all right and the first color is going to be a purple okay so a deep purple like we have in here okay nice then the only thing we have to do next is come back to transparency okay and reduce the transparency of this so it gets to look like this okay nice 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 the second step is adding our text and this is very easy let me show you what to do okay so make sure you're adding a new page and just in case yours is not viewed like this you just see an arrow okay so yeah so you can just do that as simple as that okay so i would want to make it white okay then add our text and make it big the best font you can use for this is poppins but you can still go for any font at all of your choice okay so you can choose the poppins extra bold or poppins black okay but i would go for the extra bold and i'll just say black okay and make it bigger all right then make sure you have you're making it italic duplicate it with ctrl d and you know drop it down here and here we'll just say friday okay black friday and we'll keep it no i think let me rather keep it like this okay select everything and i'm just going to reduce the size and leave it like this now after arranging it make sure you're coming to effect and choose hollow for your text okay then come to share click on download and make sure you're selecting the transparent background okay and if you are not able to choose transparent background because you're on the free version of canva what i'll need you to do is check in the description box below i've left a link in there so you can be able to download just the png of this okay and i would also advise you to click on the link i have down there so you can start using canva pro for free it's free so just make sure you're clicking on that link as well all right now come to download okay and did i even do it correctly okay so we have to wait for it to download once it's done downloading we have to re-upload it okay so i'll just have to extract okay and i will have to come in here and just re-upload the photo okay so we have the photo right here okay so the first thing we are going to do is to i'll just cut this and paste it over here okay and make it bigger all right so something like this then we can just rotate it slightly something like this which is very cool all right okay now what we want to do is we'll duplicate this and move it here select the first one come to edit photo in edit photo make sure you're selecting blur okay and increase the blur intensity okay then we have the second one straight on top so with the second one make sure you're coming to edit photo again come to effect okay and make sure you're finding dual tone select dual tone come to custom dual tone and with the first color okay which is the highlight you're just going to choose any color from here and make sure you're selecting it and copying it okay then come to shadows and paste it over here as well all right so this is how it looks at the moment then make sure you're coming to blur and make it blur a little bit okay so make it you know some somehow blur or somewhat blur now select this okay and cut it or paste it over here and make sure you are rotating it okay to fit what we have at the background the first black okay in here i'll come to colors no not poppins come to colors and i'll paste the color in here oh my god the color didn't save okay so what we can simply do is i'll just come here and i will just choose any color of my choice so the same 
type of color in here so this is what i have then we come to the friday and also set a color for it okay so i can just choose this the same color come here and just tweak it a bit okay so we have ef 0 ed okay and the first one i didn't mention it but the first color code is ef 0 ec okay so this is what we have at the moment now what we need to do now is to add some extra element to make it more interesting so come into element and element we just have to search for neon okay and just in case you heard my ringing tone or my notification tone don't mind me okay so neon line okay then we have so many ones in here i'll select this and i'll just rotate it okay at this point i think i should know the rotation value of this so it's negative two okay so you can choose this and just say negative two and we would have it like this okay and when you're selecting the neon line make sure it's the ones you can customize okay so i can choose this and you know just customize the colors duplicate this and i can put this here then we'll come back in here and still searching for neon okay there are so many options so i can maybe add even this one if i want okay so i can have it here and i can paste it you know somewhere just to make it more interesting okay then i can duplicate it and also position this somewhere here okay so very interesting then we'll come into see all there's a circle yes so you can also add this circle in here and i can just put mine here okay then i would want to add another text so i can just duplicate this okay and come to effect choose none for it okay and i can just say ultimate sale okay so you should also do the same say anything at all you want to say okay so ultimate sale would make it small something like that okay and we will reduce the size okay then i can just have it here okay then means i have to move this and maybe make it smaller if the need be all right so i'll move this to the top move this here a little bit okay and maybe move this here and i just want to fix it somewhere here okay lovely jubbly okay then i'll move this to the top a little bit so you can use the arrow key to you know move things around at this point i would want to change the color to make it a lighter blue okay so i would switch things up to something like this okay so the color code is 00 e1 ef okay then we just select everything over here and duplicate it and i'll just bring it here and i can see something like up to 50 percent discount okay so discount and we would you know have everything here like that and stretch it out then i can you know maybe leave this here and also maybe leave that here and i can maybe add a circle if we don't need a circle i don't think at this point we need a circle so i'll just take it away from here nice nice one i think we are doing something very very beautiful okay so i will leave it like this and everything is looking nice select everything and make sure it's centered okay okay now that we have this the next thing we are going to do is to animate everything okay so this is how we are going to animate it choose the black okay come to animate and make sure you're scrolling down to the bottom and the exaggerate you should see neon okay so there's neon and we have the character so choose the character for it then we are going to do the same for this choose character okay up to 50 percent it's going to be neon okay but we are going to do um the you know the word okay then we'll do the same for this neon and the word okay then all of this you can select them together holding shift okay so select and select come to neon and you know it will just flicker like that and you can do the same for this okay so select this and select this come to neon and you should see what we have at the moment so before we move on to creating the real version of this we are going to add some sound effect to make this more excited okay and what we can do is you can use canva to find some sound effects or you can also check the link in the description box below for a link to some sound effect you can use okay so that is the thing now I will just come first of all you know let's just come here to audio you can search for neon and in neon we see neon sign so i can just select neon sign you can see we have some options in here and let me just wear my headphones okay so let's listen to what it sounds like okay i don't think it sounds nice okay so i think electrical glitch would be the best all right so i think this works better so i'll just add it here and if you have to play it this is how it sounds lovely 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 i think this works best okay so now that we've done this the only thing we have to do now is to come to magic switch okay and make sure you are searching for social media select it 
and choose Instagram review. Okay, so continue. When you get to this page, what you need to do is copy and resize. Okay, and it should load beautifully and open in a new tab. Okay, so you can see this is what we also have at the moment. Now you can see this side is looking too bright. So to make it more dramatic, what I can do is I can come to the gradient. Okay, and I can just add a, a new black. Okay, just so that it makes it more dramatic. And this is what we have. We also have the real version of it. If we play it, this is how it sounds. And yes, this is what we have been able to create. Before you go, I've left a link in the description box below so you can switch to Canva Pro for free, just in case you're still using the free version of Canva. And if you found this video helpful, I would highly appreciate if you like this video and share this video with a friend. The name is Benjamin, no limit to creativity, and I should see you in my next video.